All right, so here I am. I'm going to teach you some very basic stuff about creating models and animating them. I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible, so let's get to it. Today's program will be I'll be using Sculptors, and to animate, I'll be importing this model into Blender. Both are completely free. First, I'll show you some basic tools in Sculptors. This right here is a little bump. It's inverted for some reason. A little bump that can draw little bumps on the edges of things. This right here is the grab tool. It can be used to make to just grab like a whole chunk of clay. While the draw button will only do things like this, the inflate button will do, well, as the title suggests, inflate. Um, this right here, you can ro either rotate parts of the... Here, I'll show you again. This right here will allow you to either rotate parts of the model or the entire model, as you can see. Alright. And so, this right here smooths the model out if you have something rough. Like, let's say you have a crease, you can smooth the model out. Right. If you hit invert, you can make the crease come outward, then it's like a little bump. Then you can use this pinch button right here, and it creates a thin ridge type of thing. And um, flatten, this flattens out the model. Right. This right here reduces the amount of polygons inside the model. As you can see, they are already reduced. Okay. This right here reduces all of them. This, this reduces the polys in the circle. This reduces them throughout the entire model, as you can see. Um, subdivide all. That just increases your triangles. And while well, it's probably not a good idea. So let's just get back to the way it was. Okay. And so now... I myself prefer to have detail on rather low, so that when I'm working on it, the polygon level is relatively low and doesn't um, rack up to like a million or something. Um, as well, I'll show you a few basic uh, tips. You hit shift and you hit down on the mouse button, and you can actually zoom, or should I say pan the entire camera like this move it around. You can hit Z to lock it to a certain axis. Alright, that's good. If you hit shift and up on the mouse wheel, you can increase the size of the tool you're using. Or control up or down on the mouse wheel, you can increase the strength. Let me show you what I mean. Like here is the strength of the crease on medium. You can barely see it. Here's the strength of it on high. You can see it a lot. And so, there you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed build a quick model for all of us. And then I'll get back. Peace. Okay, so there's our model. Now let's go into paint mode, and I'll show you some basics of that. Alright. Now let's just enable texture. Well, first, well, we could probably fill the entire thing with the color, and then we can go ahead and use texture. It doesn't really matter if it looks cool or not, it's just for a basic video on how to. Right? You just point and click, and that's pretty much it. Now, I 
in order to change the color of the texture you're just going to paint over it with a transparent solid color let's say I wanted to make the texture kind of greenish and as you can see it turns kind of green Not bad. Let's just color his eyes and then we're done. Give him some red eyes. Increase strength. We could possibly color his teeth too. Make him slightly gray. well enough. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to hit the export button. It'll export it as a control point, or bleh, it'll export it as a point OBJ, and then you'll save the text map in the same folder as the model, well, preferably. I myself save them in a folder on the desktop because I'll probably be deleting it as soon as I'm done with this video. So, uh, alright, I'll see you in Blender.